Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be playing a game on the Fox Ghost server. Uh, it's been a while since I've played on the Fox Ghost server, or at least made a video on it. I have been uh, playing, I guess, in the background. Um, and because of that, I have actually, since my last video, I have actually ranked down. Uh, I was 8 down in the last video. Um, in this video, I'm 6 down. And what happened was, you ever get into kind of a mojo of not playing well, but of playing just a lot of games. Uh, that's kind of what happened to me. I just got in the groove of like one night. I was like, oh, I'm going to play a game. And then you lose the game and then you go to the next game. Like, oh, I'm going to keep playing until I win a game. That's kind of the uh, rhythm I got into. And so I, even though I was, I think at eight on 12 wins with eight losses, um, which you need 15 wins out of your last 20 games to uh, level up. So I was doing pretty well. Um, even though I was there, I ranked down to um, 7 down, and then since then I have even ranked down to 6 down. Um, but here we are, we're at 6 down, and I was going to just quickly get through the 6 down ranks. I'm already at 10 wins with no losses, but I decided to, you know what, let's, um, let's at least record one game at 6 down, just so we can see, um, kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking about and how, how am I doing so well at 6 down, and what are the 6 downs doing differently from the 8 downs, that kind of thing, um, I think is uh, pretty valuable. So, okay, so Black's trying to cut me off here. I'll just fix, um, so everything so far has been pretty normal. The one kind of weird thing is Black Haneng here. Now, the reason why I would consider this a little weird is it leaves a lot of bad Aji on the bottom. Usually you'll just want to extend, and let me um, throw coordinates on. Usually you want to extend at like M17, but Black didn't do that. Um, let's see, so Hane, yeah, we should be good. It's Hane and fix. Um, oops, let me turn this off too. Um, I can push once. Because there's a cut here. Uh, and black can't hane. Black has to fix here. Technically, I guess black could like jump here and go after the center, but yeah, that's too big. So black um, plays there. Black cuts. Mm -hmm. And I will just fix. And the thing is, black owes a move here. And so black can't fight too aggressively, although black is trying to. Um, again, there's a lot of bad Aji, yep. Black will go there. And I think I can just push. I want to block here because it does cut off this side, but again, there's a lot of Aji down here that Black can't be too um, too aggressive because there's also the center fight. So Black comes back there. Okay. Um, I want to get some move here, because again, there's a lot of bad Aji here. I would like to use that if possible. Uh, maybe I'll just send now. See how black plays. Yep, black fixes. And what if I go here? What? Where will black play? Let's just see. Because black and Hane or make an eye here. But it's... Pretty dangerous for black. Hane, Hane back, sure. Okay. Maybe black will descend. Oh, black throws. And that's a mistake. Because I can throw in here. Or I can cut here, throw in. Yeah, that is a mistake. And again, this is, this is why you don't want to get into the habit of kind of thinking your opponent has to play one way. Is I can... Black assumed I only could take at S16. But, obviously I did not need to. And now after capturing this, I can now really do what I want. Um, yeah, Black kind of had to play there, but it is quite small. And now this whole um, bottom side can get attacked. So I think I will... I'll just jump. I'll force Black to live small here. Um, and then go back to the center. Yeah, black has to live small. 
And then I will extend. Yeah, just extend. Maybe I should have gone here because black can make this empty triangle, but I don't think that's too important of a shape. Black just jumps, so I'll jump. And I'm not, I'm not really seeing the value in black saving these stones. Um, yeah, they don't seem that valuable for black. And also, since they're cutting stones, I can... I'm going to ask by going here. See if black really cares about them. Yeah, black will save. Um, see, black's going to wedge here is the thing. I, so I think I will... I think I will go here. It, it gives black this Atari, but I want to prevent that wedge at J14. And it does create a lot of bad odds in black shape. Um, yeah, black actually does fix. Okay, I will... I guess I'll jump here. I'm going to look to... Oh, black is going to extend. Okay. I'll just extend with you. I, I, even though I did capture here, I do only have one eye. So I do need to be careful. Hane. Mm, black will jump. The reason why black doesn't want to play here is black's trying to leave the Aji of the cut. Which seems sensible. Um, so I will just play here. Fix the cut. Black's going to jump. And now I got to take care, of, take care of this group, so I'll play this knight's move. Black jumps. And now what? I'm feeling pretty good so far. I was able to um, rip up black's bottom side. So maybe I'll just approach. Maybe I'll just approach, see what black does. Black goes on top. Yeah, Black's going to look to go after this group, but I'm not sure how how much potential there is in that. Again, when Black is weak here, mm -hmm. Black has to be careful. Because um, Black is weak themselves. Yeah, Black's going to try to attack. But it's just too risky. Oh, you are going to go there? Okay, I will uh, peep then. And if you want to give me these two, oh, black doesn't want to give me those two, so I will fix my shape. And now these two stones are cut off from this stick, this dragon. Um, and again, black has lost quite a bit in the corner. If I can get the 3-3, three, three, I'll be very happy. Black just jumps. I'll peep once, see how black plays. Mm -hmm, black fixes. And then I will just poke. Just poke. They'll probably like jump here or peep or do something. Yep, they'll peep. It doesn't actually fix the push and cut, but it is sente on this side. I think. Yeah, so I will fix. I'll fix. I can still push and cut. Black goes there. I will... Hmm. I'll just take the 3-3 three, three then. Black really is trying to kill me. And again, I think with how the game is going, I do agree with Black playing this way. Cut. So Black saves, but Black can't save because I can capture this stone. Atari, sure. Okay, Black's going to Atari again. Atari again. But I can just connect here. Or cut. Oh, Black is going to block. And again, that does seem reasonable. Um, should I just... I think I just want to capture. I'll just capture. Black gets that move, but I'm already alive, so I actually don't really care about that. Um, I'm going to play like this move. Yeah. I'm going to play here, because again, black needs to live, and 
capturing these four mean I'm 100% alive. So black needs to live now with the center group. Black blocks? The center group is worth more. So... Do I try attacking or do I just let black connect? You know what, I'll just answer. Go here once. Because I can Hane, yep. And then I'll descend. Um, that shouldn't be Sente, so I'll just go elsewhere. Yeah, that shouldn't be Sente. Black thinks it's Sente. You want know now I think I can attack with this extra stone here. I'm going to cut the center. I can still live here. I think I can just play here. Black turns. And we're all good. Mm -hmm. Jump. You know what? I'm actually now just going to go back, surround that, come back and live here. And black doesn't really have uh, many points to speak of. Black has to go there. Yep. I'll throw in. Descend. And then I can live. And there is actually still Aji, some Aji here. Black connects. Um, I think it's best to just go here. Black's going to throw in now, force me to um, play here, I'm sure. Black just goes elsewhere. Um, I believe the left side's just too big, so I'm going to just go here. Black and 3-3 three, three if you want, but I'm just going to fix my shape here. Hmm. Sure, I'll, yeah, I guess I'll play here. The left side is just too big. Black's going to come in. Nothing should really work here. Um, because I have Sente moves here, so I actually want black to go into the corner. But I'll just play this one. Because black is going to try, yes, but... Problem is, you're not alive in the center. So... Like this peep Sente... Um, and, yeah, black's going to go there. I think I can just bump here. Mm -hmm, I think I can just bump. Black's going to go there. But it, it, you know, if you think, if you think about the game, like, black does need to play this way. So, yeah, black does need to play this way. Um... So I don't blame black, but um, just black had a weak group here, so black couldn't play in both directions. Black might try attachments, but again, this white's just so thick here that um, nothing will work. And yep, there's black resigns. Um, thank you for the game, black. Let's take a peek at it. And really a lot of this game, and this is how you kind of want to play all your games, is the mistakes will come. Um, and so a lot of this game was not me you know, playing brilliantly and oh my goodness, White played so well. It was really more me just recognizing Black making a mistake and then capitalizing. Um, and so this... Uh, Kobayashi opening, I have I believe it was either my last video or one of my most recent tournament games had this opening, a uh, tournament game reviews, and I, I go into quite uh, big detail 
uh, onto how to deal with this. Um, so I won't go over like why the attachment is good as opposed to a normal um, approach. So go check out uh, which it was the game against the Five Dawn in the Midwest Classic. Uh, so it should be one of the more recent games. Was that match four? I think match three or four. Regardless, I go into detail about this move against the Kobayashi. So I won't do that here. Um, but the basic idea is when Black Han is in the inside, you can Hane here. And this is more of, okay, I want to put pressure on the lower side while giving black the right side, which is technically bigger for black. Or it's smaller for me to take the bottom here compared to if I take the other side. This way would be allowing black to take the bottom side, but in exchange, I'm going to extend. And that's kind of what happened, but black Hane's here. And this is one of those moments where you just cut, but just leave it. I'm not trying to do anything here. I say leave it. If black Ataris then do, like, extend once and then do something else. Or like this. But you want to leave it at a point where black can't capture easily. So, like, maybe I would leave it here, right? Where if black even adds another move, then, okay, I get another free move. So black just extends, which, okay, that move makes sense, but there's a lot of bad odds here, and I even set it in the game, and what do you know, black actually ends up paying for this Hane. So yeah, I think black should just extend, and then I'll get an extension, and then we move on. But black is trying to put maximum pressure on white, while maybe gaining the most possible. So I cut, and then left it. Black extends. But I could just go elsewhere. Again, this this area is actually quite hard to attack. So maybe there's some bad odds with this kind of move. Um, now that I'm looking at it. But I think if I treat things lightly, um, it won't end up too, too bad. I don't think. Attachments. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Maybe, maybe I should add a move. Uh, especially as white, I don't really need to make big complications, maybe I should just dis, uh, descend here, threaten Q6, if black goes elsewhere. Black plays low, which low is a little more intuitive, but I think in this case this move is better. Um, this will move obviously white will play on top, and now it's a lot harder for black to separate. Hmm, fix. Black fixes, so Hane. And black pushes, again, don't think um, don't think uh, linearly when you're playing. Like, how many players would look at this and be like, okay, where? what are my only moves, right? I can go here, I can do this, right? Don't think that way. You got to think about all your options. So, I can play here, and Hane. And I, Black cuts here, but Black can cut here, I'm pretty sure. And if Black does cut there, I can live in the corner. Again, there's a lot of bad Aji here. Um, maybe Hane, or Descend first and then Hane. There's a lot of bad Aji here for Black. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can still live. Obviously the outside gets um, into trouble. So I wonder, while I, I think the Hane is okay, I think I should maybe just block. It feels like too much. Like now my Aji of any move here starts to get a lot worse. So I really wanted to get this Hane, but... Maybe I couldn't. But black cuts on this side, which, again, this I'm not expecting a mistake, but black does play a mistake. Black extends, so I push, push. Black has to cover at some point, because black needs to live. So then I can descend, descend again. And again here, not expecting a mistake, I was just trying to create some Ashi. I think black was worried about any sort of life and death. But in this scenario, it should be... Because I have... I have to, I owe a move here to connect and a move here to connect. Black actually has a lot of liberties. I think black didn't want to get into any sort of semi-eye like this. Or maybe push first and then like this. I think black didn't want to get into any semi-eye like this. So black thought, okay. I can just throw in. And again... Don't think linearly. Because what are the only moves here, right? This one. 
because your stone's an Atari. And Black's even threatening to capture at R15. But if you stay with that linear mindset, you won't be able to think of other options. And so in this case, just cutting on the inside works. Throw in and capture. And yeah, Black added a move, and you kind of need to, because any move you play, saving here is sente, because what Black needs to live. So it makes sense for Black to cut here, but I get sente and can jump. Black descends, and then I play here. Black jumps, I jump, Black jumps. Again, this is a nice timing, because I know Black is aiming for some move um, like this. Where, like this, again, I'm not 100% alive on the bottom, so I do need to be careful. And I feel like after this, black would be willing to maybe sacrifice in this kind of position. Um, especially to strengthen the bottom. So I peep now to see, okay, black, do you really care about these two stones? Because let's say black doesn't, right? Well, now if I go elsewhere, when black wedges, I can connect the other way, or I can, oops, sorry, uh, go elsewhere, I can connect here and extend. Because now I have Mii, if black connects, then I can still cut. So I'm basically asking black, what do you care about before I make my decision? So I know, okay, black's trying to um, attack my whole group, so then I play this move again. Not normally a good move, because it allows black to Atari, but... Um, in this case, I think it's okay. Black fixes. I jump. Black extends. I maybe could have atari once. once. Um, black getting here, though, felt like really good shape, so I didn't want to see that. Mm -hmm. So Hane, black makes good shape. Again, black doesn't want to go here because it forces me to extend, and there's still bad Aji on the bottom. So that's why black just jumps to keep that cut alive. So I fix, black jumps, I jump, black goes here. I'm not so sure about this move. I think this move has to be better because imagine in the game, when I push here, black has to just fix. And now we can see black is a little over concentrated. Like imagine you change the order, right? Um, like this, oops, sorry, like this. When white blocks here, you wouldn't add the stone at 4. It just feels a little slow. But white's 1-3 is also slow, so maybe it doesn't matter too much here. So I jump, or I approach, and black is going to go after the center. Again, black probably feels the bottom side result is not so good. But again, if black was stronger in the center, making another group or approaching here would not be as good. But because black is weak, I knew black couldn't attack me super strongly and that's why knowing the the game board state like what's going on in the game is so valuable mm -hmm. so of course black's going to turn i'm going to extend and then black's going to try to attack yeah obviously this would be the honte move but black probably feels if i just like play this one or something um that's too much space to live so black's trying to go after the shape here and make it as uncomfortable as possible for white, but I can simply just attach. Black's going to break my shape, of course, but I can threaten to cut, and black could offer a trade here. Um, yeah, I'm going to push once though, though, and then cut. And now the problem is, well, you kind of owe a move in the center. You can't let me connect here. You're too weak. But if black adds a move, then I'm going to take the 3-3, three, three, and again, black hasn't really gained much, because basically black traded center territory for the corner, for corner territory, and corner territory is usually much more valuable, and in this case, is more valuable. So that's why black continues the fight. And again, black's weak in the center here, these two stones are just kind of isolated. So I peep, and then extend. Black's going to peep. And then black's going to play here, but as we saw, that doesn't actually fix the weakness. There's still a push and cut. Black jumps. Again, I can, I'm getting the feeling that black feels like they're behind, and like they are, they are behind, but how you can catch up in games is not by kind of forcing 
your opponent to make mistakes. What you want to do is play moves that you know still work and just kind of nickel and dime your way back into the game. You don't need a big home run to get back into games. Like, for example, let's say Black lost 15 points on the bottom, right? So I went from an even game to white by 15 points. 15 points is only a few three to five point mistakes. That's all it is. So you don't need to rush things and try to make a home run every play. So, yeah, this kind of move here is just like this move here, this move here. It's too much putting all your eggs in one basket. Black needs to play more sensible to be able to get back into this game. Because this just doesn't work again. Black could have just... Maybe not a Tori there, but maybe just extended here. Forced me to connect here. And gone elsewhere. Help your center group. But Black plays all of this out. And then realizes, oh wait. If I connect here, Black... White connects, and now my stones up top aren't really doing much. So Black threw away more points than Black needed to. So Black plays there, which is the shape point, but the center is worth more. So I fix there. Black covers, and I say, well, let me fix and descend. And just go elsewhere. Again, the whole point of Go, or maybe not the whole point of Go, but a big concept in Go is being able to trade. So even if Black can kill my upper right, the center's worth more. So I can just leave it. Like, I think I could have just Han 8 here. And maybe Black would answer. But if I know Black knows that they're behind, I can't expect Black to answer here. So I was willing to give Black the Sente there. So I play here, yeah? And here's how we know that the center is worth more. As black didn't continue in the upper right, right? Black could have killed the entire upper right, but the center is worth more. And we can see that because black answers, answers. And by attacking, look how I'm able to surround the left side. Black has to add another move even. And then I can come back to live anyways. So again, knowing the board state and knowing what's What's actually big, not what looks big, but what's actually big is so valuable in Go. So black plays all this, but I can just live. Mm -hmm. Just live. And black uh, slides. I fix this. Uh, this was preventing this attachment, which there is odd G of like F12, like let's not that I would immediately go down, but maybe push a not cut. But playing here next, you can see there's a lot of bad Aji. Like after I push and cut here. And there might be other moves I can play, like this one. But yeah, I wanted to just fix up my hole here. So now there's no Aji. Mm -hmm. And then, again, nothing here will work. But, you know, can't blame Black for trying because... What else is there to try? Bamboo joint to cut the center, and then black resigns. So again, a pretty dominant game, but again, I don't think white played anything spectacular or otherworldly here. It was just white kind of understanding the flow of the game better. White knew what was bigger, and again, that's a lot of what Go is, is can you out-decision make your opponent? Um, yeah. And, I, and so if you, if you go back through this game, again, I don't think white did anything spectacular. It was just it was just a slow nickel and dime. Oh, Black made a mistake here. I Let me take a few points here. Black made a mistake here. Let me take a few points there. And after five or ten mistakes, that's how you can get these, these blowout games. So when you're playing your games, you don't need to go for a home run. As fun as it may be, right? We all like trying to kill a big dragon, right? But when you force something like that, oftentimes it's not going to end well for you. So don't force mistakes. You'll be surprised. When you try not killing things, you're going to end up killing things. It's kind of strange, but it is true. But yeah, that and this is um, how most of my 6 time games have been going. Um, I don't think any of them have gone to counting. So hopefully we will be at 7 Don soon and hopefully back to 8 Don. Um, but I figured, um, well, may as well make a video. Uh, I haven't posted in a little bit, so just showing you that I have been playing, although not super well. Um, here's hopefully more videos to come. 
But yes, please uh, let me know what you thought of the game uh, in the comments section below, and I'll see you all in the next video.